Hi guys, uh, a lot of people have been having problems down there in Armour 3 Desolation with uh, the armor, basically the Desolation Launcher, basically. Um, I'm going to show you another way how to do it. Um, you can use Armour 3 Sync, which is like a lot better and it handles the mods basically a lot better. Uh, a lot of people use it for like, like basically other mods and like, like A3L and Critical Gaming, etc. for like life mods and stuff. So uh, some of you might know how to use it, some of you might not. Uh, basically, if you go on to this address over here, I'll leave it in the description below. Uh, come down to download, click this, install it like you normally would any other program. Uh, once it's done, run it, and it'll come up with something like this. Um, basically, it's pretty self-explanatory, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, you need to click on repositories. You click on this nice blue little... Um, plus button over here then I'll leave this in the description down below which is the like autofig URL copy and paste that into there what you need to do is click import it will run something it will come up with day zero um, and like all of this don't need to touch any of that what you need to do is press OK it will check through the repositories as soon as it's done you need to click notify so every time that you open armor 3 um, sync it basically will notify you whenever there's a new update so basically it'll come up right there's a new update do you want do you want to download it and you should obviously click yes so basically what you need to do is click on daisy after clicking that come down to this like white little icon with a blue arrow which will connect to the repository after that's done <clears throat> you want to click the screen button for checking for add-ons that will check for how many add-ons that you need so you need to click all of them and this is all the add-ons that are needed for the mod quite a lot of them so you don't have to go through an individual click if you just click on this and it will say how much you need that's 12.48 gig so if you come onto here advanced configurations press 5 Keep that at 0.0, .0 which is the max speed that will go out. So we'll go out however fast your internet is. And then you click download add ons. That will basically tear through everything and you know, download everything. So that's probably going to take a while. So while that's downloading, um, what we need to do is. Come over to add on options. You need to basically click the basic the blue square again, and you need to find me your armor free folder. So mine's basically that. So if you go through and try and find that for me, so if you need to go on to like games, mine's on an SSD, so like Steam, Steam apps, like common, and then armor free. So you basically do that and it'll come up with that again basically that is where um, basically add-ons where basically it would launch the like the game from where your add-ons are going to be <coughs> excuse me um, another one is if you want to run it quickly through on FreeSync as well instead of launching it and finding the server if you come onto online I'll show you quickly. Uh, I will use Desolation Generous Free, the EU one, as an example. So I'll put on here Desolation, just so I know which one it is. Cherno Free. I'll put EU slash what first person, just so I know which one it is. Set that down, and then I'll put the IP address in. It's 37.59.29.219. Port is standard. 23032, sorry. There's no password for it, and the mod set would be Daisy. So every time you come in, and this is just like, say this is like your favorite server you like to play on, you basically come in, run this, you'll check, if basically you'll check the repository, like there's no new update, so basically you'd go, Right, desolation, this, and it will run Daisy mod set. You just click start game, and it will run straight into it. 
So if you put all these servers down on here, exactly the way I showed you, and it'll come up all here with all the servers, and you associate the Daisy mod with it, and then literally you click start game and it will run straight into that. Um, anything else? Uh, yeah, if you say it's, no, they can't find Armour 3 ex execution or location, come down to launch options. They select, um, press the select button, go into Armour 3 itself. If you go through and find Armour 3 Battle Eye, that will stop it every time coming up. Do you want to like verify Battle Eye or agree to its terms and conditions? Because I know some of the people have that um, quite a lot, make the noise people. So if you click on that, click open, that'll come down here and that'll launch the right version of Armour 3. Um, you can select your profiles on here as well that will link to your Armour 3. So you can just basically put whatever one you want. Uh, definitely put like no pause and splash screen to make it like arm free load a bit faster and that's pretty much it really um, I want it's downloaded uh, um, if you make sure in add-ons as well here you have a daisy folder in there it should automatically do it sometimes it won't it can be a little bit funny make sure you've got da the daisy folder in here just click on like mod sets you click like daisy and it will come up in there just make sure that's all ticked and that will run. If you want to do, you can make a profile for it as well. Click save that if you want to use more than one. And it's pretty much that self-explanatory. Um, once you've done, just click start game and it will run. It will go straight into the game. Any other problems, just uh, come up on the website and uh, just like hit up optics and it will try and help you as much as you can. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.